How does it taste, though? Okay. All right, hey, you guys. What's up? Uh, welcome back. My hat looks crazy today. Um, we're going to do a quick lesson on a way and chicken. we got some of the crew members here working away. Oh, you're good. What's up? You can talk to me. You don't have to be shy. That's fine. You can watch this video online. Uh, so we're going to do a quick lesson on that tastes all right? Yeah. All right, let's get that in a... Uh, see if it'll fit. You think it'll fit in there? Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a quick lesson on eight-way chicken. Um, let me go grab some real fast. It's Jeremy and uh, Andrew. So, you got your bird. You got your bird right here. See? Look, happy dance. Okay. So, we got the breast. Two breasts, two thighs, two legs. First thing you want to do when you got your chicken here, your whole chicken, is cut out the backbone. Uh, and you really need a sturdy knife. I got my bony knife. I'm going to grab my little St. Cuckoo. It's kind of st it's a lot sturdier. You want to make two incisions on each side of the backbone, and you're gonna hear some bones crack. It's all right. This chicken's dead. You're gonna to want to take the backbone out, and this can be hard. So really get in there. It's not going to work for me. Oh, there we go. All right. So, got the backbone here. That's one dead bird right there. Oh, hey. I know. I got your text. I just didn't. So, you got that in there, Winston? Okay. Um, get me another pot of cold water. If you can. Um, let's do... Yeah, don't fill them up all the way. Or just bring them over here. I'm going to put the chicken in here. We're going to make some chicken stock while we cut down these chickens. Um, come here, Winston, if you don't mind. Just set that right there. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you um, save all your bones. It's got all the flavor and all. You can get rid of the fat. When you're doing stocks, you want a lean stock. Um, so save all. This is actually a giblet right here. It's all the good stuff. But, so we got the backbone out. And what you want to do is you go in here, break the legs out of socket. I think we're good. Just time. It will be good. Okay. Um, so what's on the menu? So we're doing the, we're doing a chicken pasta. And I'm probably going to run the store and grab some sausage. I only spent 150 bucks. We had 300 to spend. You can go? Um... Can you leave? Yeah. Okay. Let me get you a list real fast. Let me cut this bad boy down. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so we're doing chicken pasta. We're going to do a veggie pasta with mushrooms and broccoli and cauliflower. Um, but we're going to let people make their own. Um, and just set that right there. That's fine. Come on. Um, and then we're doing a salad. We've got um, peppers chopped up. We've got carrots. And then she's chopping all the lettuce. We've got red, romaine, and so iceberg. Well, not all of them. Winston's in one. At Andrews and oh, one, three. so I got yeah I got a three a two and two That's ones so great. and then John, so we got a lot of different you know yeah. levels of experience here, um, but we we got our legs off you guys, doing the happy dance with the chicken. Um, what you also want to come back and do? Um, grab me a half sheet tray for me, a half sheet baking tray. We're gonna roast these off in the oven. Um, but what you want to do with your breast is there's a middle bone here. It's called the keel bone. And you want to go in. You can chop your uh, wings off as well. You got to pop those out just like you did the um, the leg bones. That's how we do our homework. Yeah. No, you're fine. We love visitors in that culinary. This guy's not. Yeah, you can. Definitely can. So I'm chopping the wings off. 
and this is what the wing looks like when you chop it off. They clean it up quite nicely with the butcher, so you got your wing. Um, I think we might save these and eat those. We're gonna have the wings. I'm hungry. Um, but there's a little bone in here. You guys can see. I know it's pretty far away, but you'll see this bone right here. You want to get your knife just on the other side of it. You don't want to cut too much of the breast off. Save as much meat as you can. Sometimes you got to pound your knife in there to get that bone cut through. We're going to roast these with the skin on just to have that extra flavor. Like I said, the keel bone, it looks like it's already cut. Here's the back side of the keel bone. It's like the breastplate. If you want to go in. So, I did say eight way chicken. The thigh comes in at two pieces. So, the drumstick comes off, and then there's a thigh. And so, this is four pieces right here. You got two breasts and two wings. And that, that equals eight. But you can do a six way chicken if you don't want to cut the um, wings off. A lot, of, a lot of nicer restaurants, you'll see they serve a bone in chicken. You're just going to retain a lot of that flavor with your bone in. Well, and especially with steaks, you're going to do steaks bone in, you're going to have a lot more flavor. But the cooking time increases um, quite a bit on chicken and beef when you do the bone in. So we got one breast off. Two breasts. I'm going to go ahead and get the rib cage off too. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I want to save the rib cage from a stock. It's going to get all the flavor. When you have all these bones, it's all the goodness. And watch out for your wishbone. I got these guys down here. We already cooked off some chicken. Um, I've got them, Jeremy's peeling the chicken, getting all the skin off, and then we're pulling all the meat off. And then Andrew down there, he's chopping the meat. And um, that's just going to lead to a lot of fun and a lot of tasty food. So here's the chest bone. I'm going to throw that in our stock. Breasts. I've got my oven on already. We're going to roast those at 400 for about an hour and a half or so. It won't take long. But as you can see from the last video, I stayed up here last night and you know got it prepped on. I did want to mention to you guys that um, getting your prep done as early as possible will save you a lot of stress in the long run. And hey, Winston, if you'll grab where's the seasoning? I think it's on the other side. Grab the seasoning. And let's get this tray in the oven. If you'll season those breasts up on one side. Throw them in there. So we got our chickens right here. I'm gonna let my buddy Winston here. He's gonna season these bad boys up and we're gonna get them in the oven. That's it for now. I just wanna show you guys how to eight weight a chicken. Uh, it's no big deal. And once you learn how to eight weight any one kind of poultry, like a chicken, it's the same for quail, it's the same for duck, it's the same for um, any kind of game hen or um, What's another one? Squab. Squab is a cross between like a pigeon and a um, a dove. Um, it's very good. You'll see that in a lot of fine dining restaurants. They serve squab. It's a very small breast and it's delicious. So, thanks for tuning in.